At Smithsonian International Zoo, we now have four giant pandas, and that's very unique to us. We've never had this many pandas before, so it's incredibly exciting. It's just nonstop. You never know which one's going to be sleeping at what time and which one needs another feeding or needs enrichment. So it can be up and down every day, all day long. Right now we have pandas ranging in age from almost 10 months to almost 19 years old and that's a first for us. We've never had that kind of age span between all of our pandas. Giant pandas are found in China, specifically in the central part of China. They are a critically endangered species, but with the collaboration that we've been doing working with China, we're bringing their numbers back. We have three major yards of the giant panda habitat. The first yard is where the dad, Tian Tian, lives. We have Mei Xiang, the mom, and Bei Bei, her new cub, who live in the next yard. And then the furthest yard, that's where Bao Bao, the juvenile, has been living since she was weaned at about a year and a half. She's not fully grown yet. She won't be fully grown until she's about five or six years old. So she'll be turning three this August. So with the excitement of having these multiple pandas and age groups, there are some challenges. Four pandas is a lot of work. It's, I guess, like having multiple children. It's not just, you know, twice the amount. It's like 10 times the amount of work. So we have this enrichment chart that we use every day with the pandas to keep us organized. You want to figure out what we're doing today for enrichment? Yeah, what's, uh, well, do you have any ideas what we should do? I know it's going to be a little warm today. How about for Tian, we could do a bubble bath. Okay, that's perfect. So that yeah. gets uh, sen Is that the sensory. Sensory, okay. And then the tub with water. And then maybe we can do fruit sickles in the afternoon. Awesome, they're gonna have a really cool day. Yeah. <laughs> Enrichment is important for the pandas because we try to keep them active and using their minds and busy on the times when they're not eating bamboo, which is their main thing that they do in the wild. Summer is very tough for our pandas because they definitely don't like the heat, so we try to come up with things that involve water or ice for them. That just gives them something, especially outside, that they can cool off a little bit out in the Washington heat. Some of the enrichment items that we do give to Bei Bei, since he's still small, we can take a small tub and put several toys in there that are floating. And on occasion, we can put some food items in there, like sweet potato. We just need to do Tian's bubble bath, and I think we're good. We definitely have some good personalities with our pandas, and we see that when we give them certain kinds of enrichment. So for Tian Tian, we've discovered recently that he really likes to play in bubble baths and just kind of be goofy with it. Bao Bao seems to really like the ice blocks, so she will hold them and put them on her belly to cool off, and she'll roll around with them and just slide across the floor and be silly. Mei Xiang is very serious about her enrichment when she's involved in it. And if Bebe tries to come over and see what she's doing or tries to take something from her, she will push him away. She'll put her paw up and sort of tell him no. And he's very persistent, so he keeps trying. But that's her way of saying, no, you're not getting this. <laughs> Mei Xiang herself is Bei Bei's enrichment. He's climbing on her back, he's always playing for her head, trying to bite her ear, grab her leg. He's just all over mom all the time. So it's really a good example of how Mei Xiang is patient with her cubs. So fruit sickles are probably one of their favorite enrichments. That's kind of a treat that we give them, get them out on exhibit one last time and give them a nice little special treat at the end of a really hot day. Whenever you see the meeting, they're you know they're holding things almost like it's a human being we're holding, or they're leaning back as if you were leaning back. You know, there's a, definitely a connection there that everyone I think shares in their own way. 
with this amazing and, and critically endangered species. Working with giant pandas, you have to be comfortable and understand that change is always going to occur. It's always going to be evolving. This time next year, Bei Bei will actually be weaned, or basically on his own and independent. Mei Xiang and Tian Tian will still be here, and we're hoping that they will breed again. And Bao Bao will be getting ready to be part of the breeding program in China. And she'll complete that circle of our conservation story. It's our hope that we'll be able to see her offspring in the wild one day. <laughs>